One thing that is desperately needed, though, is the return of the first-time buyer, and that's up to the banks to start lending again. With me now is property expert Brett Allegri Wood. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, that's a, a good point, isn't it? Until first-time buyers yeah. get on the on the rungs, then the rest of them can't move on. Yeah, I think you know until the banks recognise that uh, they're not lending as much as they should be, and the, dis the deposits are too much for you know the first-time buyers to jump back in. Um, it's we're not going to see a full recovery of the, the property market. But I think the, the important thing is that we are we're through the worst of it, I guess. And uh, you know whether it sits around at the bottom for a bit. Um, I think you know it, it will do that for a, probably till so next year. So you actually think it ha it is now? If it's not at the bottom, then it's near the bottom. Yes, absolutely. So at least people then feel a little more confident in, in buying that they that they won't buy and then absolutely. the thing will just collapse. I think again. what we've seen since January is that pretty much the market's come back. So we're seeing more and more people um, you know jumping online and, and you know uh, onto all of the property websites, things like that, in making inquiries. They may not be taking so much action right now, but certainly people are starting to look back into property as being a, you know, a viable option, certainly yeah. having dropped so, you know, the price. And, and there is a bit of gazumping going on. Uh, absolutely. I think gazumping is one of those things that will always happen for the you know, prime properties and good properties with you know, the good solid mm. fundamentals and you know, the, the desirability, if you like. So, yeah. Is this also people who perhaps are looking for somewhere that they want to put their money because they're still not comfortable yeah. with putting their money with the banks after a the crisis? Absolutely. I think, you know, if you look at leaving money in the, in the, in this cash, really you're not earning any money on it. And I think people can see the money or the, the drop in price. They can negotiate those prices pretty much knowing that the cycle will come back around because most people, you know, if they look honestly, they see that property comes down and then it'll shoot back up. And that's a natural part of the cycle. So, People are starting to say, actually, let's get in now, let's bag ourselves a bargain or you know, take advantage of the opportunities that are out there. Although you know, perhaps they're not particularly, uh, are they bargains at the moment? And also you do have to think about it's, it's a long-term thing, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, property is always a long-term thing. You know? So, yes, you can bag a bargain, but I think what you've got to accept is that the mortgages aren't that desirable at the moment. So, the, uh, especially on a buy-to-let basis, if you're looking at that sort of thing, um, you know, you're paying well and truly what I would call over the odds at the moment. Right, so buy to let not good at the moment, but buy as a, as, as a sort of almost as a, a, a long term uh, future prospect is I the thing to be doing. I think buy to let, in fact, any property, buying property now is good, but I think what um, you've got to watch out for and you've got to look for is the, the right mortgage product to go along with it. Yeah, so uh, when are these figures out today? 11am. Uh, 11 a.m. Yeah, so a lot so. more activity in the market and it's looking a lot better. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> Thank definitely. you very much, Bess. Okay,